Maverick Nation, you know you are one. You know you are one. Finally, finally, the girl them get the man. Yeah, the girls get the man. The man where they want, the girl them get the man where they want. <laughs> The reggae girls get the man where they want. They get the coach where they want. <laughs> yeah. Lord Donaldson will be the reggae girls' head coach to lead the team into the World Cup qualifying final round coming up at the start of next month. Well, not next month, of July. So Lord Donaldson is the man. <laughs> it's not made official yet, but you don't know. It's out there. See, London is not a long time, long time front runner for the job. Don't you? JFF did come out and admit that. Although my sources tell me that there were sources within the JFF setup who never want London to come back. But that is another story. This saga, though, is obviously, easily, the strangest saga in the history of football across men's football and women's football. You have never seen a team uprising in a team. Forget with our coach with a 100% win record. It don't happen no else in a football. Well, it happened in a Jamaica. <laughs> See? For all who didn't live in a cave and never know where going. Well, you know the thing start with um, Busby, this virgin name Busby. By the way, Lord Donaldson you know, was an assistant to Hugh Menzies, who qualified the, the team for the World Cup in 2019. The historic qualification, Lord Donaldson was part of the coaching staff, as was Busby. Who was actually removed before Vin Blaine was hired because some sexual allegations came out. Some long time sexual allegations were, were rehashed and he had to step down. So he succumbed to the JFF appoint Vin Blaine. Vin Blaine took over the team now into the first round of qualifiers. This was the, the, the CFU round, the Caribbean round. Four games played. Four games won, 100% win record. I think it's something like 20 at goal score and two conceded. See, and then on the on the on the on the brink of going into the final round now, out comes this, out came this letter from the girls. Yeah, so Bill Blaine can't coach, and they don't no want them to coach the team, and they want somebody else to coach the team. See, JFF had their technical meeting and decided, so no man, there are no grounds on which to fire Mr. Blaine. So Mr. Blaine shall remain as head coach. Mr. Vin Blaine up to obviously now, but he, 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 he smell the coffee and realize that this thing now untenable. I can't coach these girls. We tell the JFF say me he can't coach. So he eventually he resigned. And now within that resignation, at this point, we had a couple of weeks, maybe about a week or two now, of towing and throwing and uncertainty. And then now the news leak out say Lauren Donaldson will eventually be the man. <laughs> <laughs> only in Jamaica. Yeah, man, I'm here to say only in Jamaica. I remember, I know the JFF did come out and say the back, Mr. Vin Blaine, you know. But obviously, it was untenable, Mr. Blaine. Step. See? <laughs> but I'm telling you this. But I'm telling you this too. I'm telling you this too. See? We are going our final round. See? Which includes Jamaica, Mexico, and I think Haiti. So it's Jamaica, Mexico, Haiti, and the USA in a one group of four. And only one team have come out. No, sorry, two teams have come out. <laughs> See, two teams have come out. Me tell you, call it one because America automatic. See, if you understand the dynamics of Kankaka football and world football, America automatic. So it's one spot we, Canada, and Haiti are playing for. See, now we can tell you this. You see, to hold this saga unfold, eh? I mean, London Ross is an experienced coach, you know, at this level, as we say, was the assistant to the team. But to hold this entire saga unfold, the amount of pressure we have got upon the girls, their man, because I'm not him, you know, he's now the girls' man, you know. <laughs> see? The girls, them choice, you know. See, the amount of pressure I got upon London Ross and the girls, free qualify. After where them keep up, the unprincipled way where them I can get without the coach. <laughs> the pressure will be immense. See, he has just about four weeks, just over four weeks, to do whatever he wants to do differently so that the girls will be satisfied and happy. That is important, you know. It is imperative. 
that girls in a relationship are kept happy, you know. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when the girl them send for a particular man and that man arrive. See, it, it, the pressure is on that man, you know, to deliver, you know, and keep the girls happy. <laughs> Laugh one more time, one more time. But all right, people. But obviously, I mean, Lord Dallas went take charge of the thing now. See, as me say, I'm about four weeks to work with the girls. Wait, I don't know. I don't know about four weeks to work with the girls because they're not gonna gather. They're not a hard the thing. They're gonna gather before the tournament itself. They'll be having the tournament up in Mexico, you know. So that 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 add to the to the difficult dynamic of this task, you know. They have to know. How do Mexico playing at home in Mexico to qualify ahead of Mexico? Because if it's a given that the USA will qualify, we know that USA is far superior to all teams in the world, much less the teams in a CONCACAF. So, but you don't know, learn the girls get their man. The girls got their man. So, what can we say? As we say, it's a strange saga in the history of football. I know what's neatly still. It's Jamaica team, you know, and you don't know me already. He's a, he's a nationalist, you know, a Jamaica team. And although me don't really approve and me don't like, in fact, me, me, me don't right dislike. I hated the way the girls acted in getting rid of Vin Blaine. Yeah, it, it, it is unprincipled. Seeing as we said, no it's not the word. You find a team uprising, player uprising, forget, well, I don't even know if it's a full player uprising. Be on there's this silent hand somewhere out there that uh, dictating the, 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 what happened. But let us call it a player uprising on the face of it. If you get rid of a coach with a 100% impressive win record. It not a, a Guinness Book of Records something this. You know? Guinness Book of Records something this. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it is what it is. This is Jamaica. It's not necessarily a real place most of the time. We do, 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 we do things out of the box. We do things differently. See, our vibe and our personality and our modus operandi is totally different from everything else in the world. That's why we name Jamaica. Richest culture, pound for pound. Now, make me see if the girls can pull it off now. As much as we disapprove of what went on, you don't know we are Jamaica, see me now. If them and we pull it off, I will be the first to say, girls, big up on yourself. Only they know some things where the general population never know. See, and if you can bring in land on us at the ninth hour and he gets the job done, my God, kudos. We'll be happy to be wrong. We welcome that kind of success if the girls can qualify historically now for back to back World Cup finals. That, that would be what would, it would be, you know. They qualified in 2019, basically, the same core of girls now. And if they pull this one off under all of the adversity and the circumstances surrounding how we get here, so. Then listen, I don't know, man, something that, man. See, anyway, Jamaica, we say same way, you know. Big up the girls who get the man where they want. See, you know how much girls can't get the man where they want. <laughs> you know how much girls can't get the man where they want and the man where they need, them stink them need. Eh? You know how much girls out there suffer in the wider world cannot get the man where they want and the man where they really think they need. These girls are living a dream. <laughs> Big up. Big up the reggae girls. Good luck and good luck, London and Sin. Do you think, my boss? See, as we said, this is the strangest saga, the most unique saga in the history of football. See, come at Jamaica feet. Anyway, YouTube family, check in. Wanna think? The girl, them get the man where they want. The girls must be happy now. Any girl get the man where they want. Now, happy. <laughs> Check it. Check it out the comment section and tell me what you think. Yeah. What you think about the entire saga? Wait, you know, go back to the saga. Just going forward now. See, you think Landalus can pull it off? You think the girls will have enough confidence in Landalus to pull it off? You think Landalus himself will be able to make the kind of difference that the girls are yearning for? And we can pull off the unthinkable and the unlikely? Big up the girls. Big up the girl, they will go there, go get the man where they want. <laughs>